Did you know that overcommitment is one of the leading causes of stress and dissatisfaction in our busy lives? If you want to reclaim your time and energy, you need to understand the true cost of saying yes to everything. The best way to navigate the chaos of modern life is by mastering the art of prioritization and intentional living. But first, avoid this common mistake, believing that busyness equals productivity. In a world that glorifies hustle, it's time to challenge this myth and explore how to cultivate a life filled with purpose, clarity and joy. Join me as we dive into the principles of Stoic philosophy and discover how they can empower you to live more intentionally and free yourself from the shackles of overcommitment. Number 1. Understanding Overcommitment Imagine waking up on a sunny morning, the world outside your window buzzing with energy. You feel a rush of excitement as you glance at your to-do list, a testament to your ambitions and dreams. You have plans to meet friends, tackle projects at work, maybe even hit the gym. The possibilities feel endless and your heart swells with the promise of a productive day ahead. It's a beautiful feeling, isn't it? But as the day progresses, that initial spark begins to dim. The tasks start piling up and you realize that each yes you've uttered is a weight added to your shoulders. What once felt exhilarating now seems like an overwhelming race against time, a race where you can't seem to catch your breath. Overcommitment creeps into our lives slowly, often masked by our desire to seize every opportunity. It can feel good to be wanted, to be needed, and to believe that saying yes makes us valuable. But when do we stop and ask ourselves, am I really capable of doing all this? It's crucial to recognize that while ambition and drive can propel us forward, they can also lead to exhaustion and burnout if not managed wisely. Think back to those moments when you agreed to take on another project at work or added another social obligation to your calendar, all while knowing deep down that your plate was already full. That familiar feeling of dread, the sensation of being pulled in too many directions, this is the reality of overcommitment, and it's all too relatable. We've all been there. The late nights, the missed family dinners, the neglected hobbies. You might find yourself reminiscing about a time when life felt simpler, when you had the luxury of time to enjoy your passions without the constant hum of stress in the background. Remember those days when spontaneity was possible, when a weekend trip or a night out with friends didn't require a meticulously planned schedule. As we dive deeper into this conversation about overcommitment, let's explore not just how we got here, but why it's so important to recognize the signs before they overwhelm us. Number two, the Stoic philosophy. Now, as we transition from the emotional weight of overcommitment, Let's shift gears and introduce the wisdom of Stoic philosophy. Imagine the calm of a quiet library or the stillness of a serene park. It's a stark contrast to the noise of our everyday lives. The Stoics, thinkers like Seneca, Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius, understood the challenges of human existence and offered profound insights that resonate even today. Their teachings remind us that while the world may be chaotic, we have the power to cultivate inner peace amidst the storm. At its core, Stoicism teaches us about the importance of focusing on what we can control and letting go of what we cannot. This principle is a lifeline for those of us feeling the strain of overcommitment. The Stoics would argue that much of our anxiety stems from our attempts to control external circumstances and the expectations of others. They encouraged us to reflect on our true desires and to live in accordance with our values. Imagine the relief of recognizing that not every demand placed upon us is an obligation we must fulfill. Instead of being swayed by societal pressures or the fear of missing out, we can turn inward and assess whether our commitments align with our personal principles. 
Think about it, how often do we say yes out of a desire for approval or fear of disappointing someone? The Stoics remind us that our worth isn't determined by our ability to say yes to every request. Instead, it's rooted in our integrity and our commitment to living a virtuous life. As you reflect on your own commitments, consider how the Stoic philosophy could serve as a guiding star. Can you start to view your commitments through the lens of reason and virtue rather than obligation? Number 3. Signs of Overcommitment As we delve into the signs of overcommitment, let's evoke a sense of nostalgia for moments when life felt more manageable. Picture yourself in a time when your schedule wasn't a game of Tetris, but rather a fluid flow of activities that brought you joy and fulfillment. Do you remember those times? Perhaps it was a lazy Sunday afternoon spent reading a book or a spontaneous road trip with friends, free from the burdens of deadlines and to-do lists. Now, fast forward to today, and it's a different story. You're likely juggling numerous responsibilities, each vying for your attention and feeling the weight of expectations pressing down on you. Overcommitment often manifests in subtle ways, and recognizing these signs is essential for reclaiming your time and mental well-being. Are you constantly feeling rushed or overwhelmed? Do you find yourself saying, I'll get to it later, only to have that task linger like an unwanted guest? These are common indicators that your commitments may be stretching you too thin. You might recall a time when you were excited about a project, but now it feels like a chore, something you dread rather than look forward to. This emotional shift is a clear signal that something needs to change. Another sign of overcommitment is the neglect of self-care. Think back to when you last took time for yourself, truly without distractions. Are you skipping meals, sacrificing sleep, or abandoning exercise routines? When commitments pile up, Self-care often falls to the bottom of our priority list. It's easy to push aside our own needs in favor of fulfilling obligations, but the toll this takes on our physical and mental health can be significant. You might even feel a sense of guilt when you carve out time for yourself, as if doing so somehow diminishes your ability to meet the demands placed upon you. As you reflect on these signs, Consider how they relate to your own experiences. Have you felt the familiar pangs of anxiety when looking at your calendar? Do you find yourself longing for that sense of ease you once had? It's important to acknowledge these feelings as they serve as crucial indicators of your current state. By recognizing the signs of overcommitment, you take the first step toward regaining control and finding balance in your life. Number four. Control and agency. Life often feels like a whirlwind, pulling us in multiple directions simultaneously. The sensation of being swept away can be disorienting, particularly when we're juggling numerous commitments. In this chaos, the concept of control and agency emerges as a powerful antidote. Imagine standing in the eye of a storm where it's calm and still, even as the world spins around you. This metaphor embodies the essence of understanding control and agency in our lives. It's about reclaiming the power to steer your own ship, regardless of external pressures or expectations. Feeling out of control is a common experience, especially when overcommitment sets in. We may find ourselves saying yes to every request, believing that each agreement will enhance our worth or expand our networks. But at what cost? The Stoics teach us that true freedom lies in our ability to govern ourselves, to make choices based on reason rather than external demands. This requires introspection and a clear understanding of what truly matters to us. Consider the moments when you felt your energy deplete. Were those commitments aligned with your values or were they reactions to outside influences? Let's reflect on a time when you felt overwhelmed by commitments. Perhaps you had numerous projects at work, family obligations and social engagements. As each request piled on, 
Did you ever pause to consider whether these commitments were genuinely important to you? Or did you simply respond with, sure, I can do that, out of habit? This instinctual response is a sign that we may be surrendering our agency. The realization that we have the power to choose what to accept and what to decline can be liberating. It allows us to take back control, empowering us to shape our lives in alignment with our authentic selves. Agency also means recognizing that we can change our circumstances. It's easy to slip into a victim mindset, believing that we have no choice but to meet every obligation placed before us. However, understanding our agency challenges this notion. We can consciously decide what fills our calendars, who we spend our time with, and how we allocate our energy. This perspective can provoke nostalgia for simpler times when we made choices rooted in genuine desire rather than obligation. Think about your past. Remember those moments when you prioritized your happiness and well-being. Perhaps it was a spontaneous road trip or a weekend spent with friends, free from responsibilities. As adults, we often forget that we still have the power to create such moments. By exercising our agency, we reclaim our right to live intentionally, curating experiences that enrich our lives rather than drain them. This is where the true power lies, not in saying yes to everything, but in discerning what is worthy of our time and energy. Number five, prioritizing essential commitments. As we delve into the heart of prioritizing essential commitments, let's embrace a sense of clarity and purpose. Think of a time when you felt completely in sync with your goals, when every action seemed purposeful and every choice aligned with your deepest values. It's a euphoric sensation, isn't it? Yet in the hustle and bustle of daily life, this sense of alignment can quickly fade. Prioritizing essential commitments is the compass that helps us navigate through the noise, ensuring we remain anchored to what truly matters. When faced with a barrage of requests and responsibilities, the key lies in discerning the essential from the trivial. Reflect on how often you've felt obligated to engage in activities that don't resonate with you. These distractions can take many forms, unnecessary meetings, social events that feel more like duties than delights, or tasks that drain your energy without yielding meaningful results. The challenge is to cultivate a clear understanding of your values so that you can align your commitments accordingly. Imagine standing at a crossroads, each path representing a different commitment. One path leads to a project that excites you, another to a social event that you feel obligated to attend, and yet another to a task that feels burdensome. Which path will you choose? Prioritizing essential commitments means recognizing that not every opportunity is worth pursuing. It requires the courage to say no to the things that do not contribute to your growth and happiness, allowing you to focus your energy on what genuinely enhances your life. This process can evoke feelings of nostalgia reminding us of simpler times when our choices felt clearer. As children, our decisions were often guided by pure interest and excitement rather than the pressures of societal expectations. We played freely, engaged with our passions, and pursued curiosity without the weight of obligations hanging over us. Revisiting this mindset can help us reconnect with our authentic selves as we remind ourselves of what truly lights us up. In practical terms, prioritizing commitments can be achieved through various frameworks, such as the Eisenhower Matrix or the ABC Method. These tools help categorize tasks based on urgency and importance, guiding you toward decisions that honor your values. By systematically evaluating each commitment, you empower yourself to focus on what truly matters, rather than getting swept away by the urgent but ultimately unimportant. Number six, the power of saying no. Saying no can feel like an uphill battle, 
especially in a society that often equates busyness with success. However, embracing the power of saying no is an essential skill that can drastically improve your quality of life. Imagine standing on the precipice of an opportunity, your heart races, and you feel the familiar tug of obligation. You want to say yes, but deep down, you know that saying yes would stretch you too thin. The realization that you can choose to say no is both liberating and daunting. In a world that constantly demands more from us, learning to say no is an act of self-preservation. Reflect on the times you felt compelled to agree to something, even when it didn't align with your priorities. Perhaps it was a last-minute project at work, or an invitation to a social gathering you didn't want to attend. Each of these moments chips away at our time and energy, leaving us feeling overwhelmed and unfulfilled. The power of saying no is the antidote to this cycle. Think back to your past when you felt overwhelmed by too many commitments. Remember that sense of relief when you finally decided to decline an obligation that didn't resonate with you. This feeling of liberation is a testament to your ability to reclaim your time and energy. Saying no is not a rejection of others, it's an affirmation of your values and boundaries. It's a conscious choice to honor what truly matters to you. The journey to mastering the art of saying no involves cultivating a mindset rooted in self-awareness and confidence. Begin by assessing your commitments and identifying which ones drain your energy versus those that invigorate you. This introspection enables you to recognize when a request feels more like an obligation than an opportunity. You may find it helpful to practice assertive communication, expressing your reasons for declining with grace and tact. Remember, saying no doesn't have to be confrontational or rude. It can be framed positively, emphasizing your appreciation for the offer while clearly stating your limitations. For example, you might say, thank you for thinking of me, but I need to prioritize my existing commitments right now. This approach allows you to maintain your integrity without feeling guilty or pressured. Number seven, cultivating self-discipline. Self-discipline is the backbone of living a focused and intentional life. Imagine embarking on a journey where each step you take is deliberate, purposeful, and aligned with your goals. This is the essence of cultivating self-discipline, a commitment to uphold your values and priorities, even when distractions abound. In a world filled with temptations and instant gratifications, self-discipline serves as your guiding light, enabling you to navigate the complexities of modern life. Think back to a time when you achieved a goal through sheer determination. Perhaps you set your sights on a fitness target or dedicated time to a creative project. The discipline required to stay committed to your path, even when it felt challenging, is a testament to your inner strength. Cultivating self-discipline is about harnessing that strength consistently, creating habits that propel you toward your aspirations. The journey of self-discipline begins with clarity. Take time to define your goals and identify the habits that will support your journey. This might involve creating a daily routine that aligns with your priorities, blocking out time for essential tasks, or establishing rituals that help you stay focused. By structuring your environment to encourage discipline, you set yourself up for success. As you navigate the complexities of commitment, Consider how self-discipline intersects with saying no. Each time you resist the allure of distractions, you reinforce your commitment to your goals. For instance, if you've decided to prioritize your health, saying no to late night social outings or junk food becomes easier when you're anchored in your vision. This alignment cultivates resilience, allowing you to navigate setbacks without losing sight of your aspirations. Nostalgia can also play a role in self-discipline. Think back to the habits you cultivated in your youth. 
whether it was practicing a musical instrument or dedicating time to a sport. These activities required discipline, yet they also brought immense joy and fulfillment. Number 8. The importance of self-reflection. In the quest for balance and intentionality, self-reflection emerges as a vital tool for growth. Picture a quiet evening, perhaps with a warm cup of tea in hand, as you take a moment to look inward. This practice invites you to explore your thoughts, feelings and experiences, allowing you to gain insight into your motivations and desires. Self-reflection is not just an exercise, it's a pathway to understanding yourself more deeply, ultimately guiding you toward a more intentional life. Reflecting on your journey can evoke nostalgia for moments of clarity when you've felt a profound connection with your true self. Consider the times when you took a step back to evaluate your commitments. Were they serving you or were they mere obligations that drained your energy? These moments of introspection can illuminate patterns in your life, helping you recognize what aligns with your values and what doesn't. Self-reflection allows you to assess your commitments with honesty and compassion. As you explore your feelings, ask yourself questions that prompt deeper understanding. What motivates you to say yes to certain obligations? Are there commitments you've taken on out of habit or fear of disappointing others? By diving into these inquiries, you cultivate clarity about your priorities, enabling you to make more informed choices moving forward. The practice of self-reflection can also serve as a catalyst for change. As you gain insights into your motivations and behaviors, you empower yourself to set boundaries and prioritize what truly matters. Reflect on how often you felt stretched thin by commitments that didn't resonate with you. By acknowledging these feelings, you can identify areas in your life that require adjustment, allowing you to reclaim your time and energy. Embrace the nostalgic elements of self-reflection by journaling or engaging in creative practices that allow you to express your thoughts. This can help you articulate your feelings and foster a sense of connection with your past self. You might find it valuable to track your progress over time noting how your priorities evolve and how you navigate challenges. This practice fosters a deeper understanding of your journey, providing clarity as you make decisions about your commitments. As you engage in self-reflection, consider the role of gratitude in this process. Acknowledge the commitments that have enriched your life and express appreciation for the experiences that have shaped you. Gratitude can shift your perspective, allowing you to view challenges as opportunities for growth. This mindset cultivates resilience, reinforcing your commitment to living intentionally. Self-reflection is not a one-time activity, it's an ongoing practice that invites you to regularly check in with yourself. Schedule moments of reflection into your routine, whether through quiet meditation, journaling, or simply taking a walk in nature. By creating space for this practice, you empower yourself to navigate life with intention, ensuring that your commitments align with your evolving values and goals. Number 9. Flexibility and Adaptability In a world characterized by constant change, flexibility and adaptability become essential qualities for navigating life's complexities. Picture yourself standing on shifting sands where the landscape evolves beneath your feet. The ability to adapt to these changes allows you to remain grounded and resilient even when faced with unexpected challenges. This quality is particularly relevant in the context of commitments as the dynamics of our lives can shift rapidly, requiring us to recalibrate our priorities. Reflect on times when you've encountered unexpected changes. Perhaps a work project took an unforeseen turn, or a personal obligation arose that required your attention. In these moments, adaptability becomes your ally. Embracing the mindset that change is a natural part of life allows you to navigate uncertainty with grace, 
fostering resilience rather than resistance. Flexibility in commitments means recognizing that your priorities may shift over time. Nostalgia can play a role here as you remember moments when you felt free to pivot and explore new opportunities. Think back to a time when you embraced spontaneity, a weekend getaway, an impromptu dinner with friends. These experiences often arise from a willingness to adapt, reminding us of the joy that can come from embracing change. As you reflect on your commitments, consider the importance of reassessing your priorities regularly. Life is dynamic, and what once felt essential may no longer hold the same weight. Allow yourself the freedom to recalibrate your commitments based on your evolving goals and circumstances. This practice fosters a sense of empowerment as you recognize that you have the agency to adjust your path as needed. Flexibility also involves cultivating a mindset of curiosity. When faced with unexpected changes, ask yourself what opportunities may arise from the situation. How can you adapt your commitments to align with your current reality? This perspective transforms challenges into avenues for growth enabling you to embrace the unknown with optimism and resilience. To foster adaptability, consider incorporating mindfulness practices into your routine. Mindfulness encourages present moment awareness, allowing you to respond to challenges with clarity rather than reactivity. When you approach changes with a calm and open mindset, you're better equipped to navigate transitions making decisions that align with your core values. As you embrace flexibility, remember that it doesn't mean abandoning your commitments altogether. Instead, it's about finding a balance between honoring your obligations and allowing room for spontaneity and exploration. By cultivating adaptability, you create a dynamic relationship with your commitments, ensuring that they remain aligned with your authentic self. Number 10. Living with intention. At the core of navigating life's complexities is the profound concept of living with intention. Picture yourself standing at the threshold of your life, equipped with a clear vision of who you want to be and what you want to achieve. Living with intention means embracing this clarity and aligning your actions with your values creating a life that resonates with purpose and fulfillment. Reflect on moments when you felt a deep sense of alignment with your goals. Perhaps it was a time when you pursued a passion project or dedicated time to relationships that brought you joy. These experiences stem from living intentionally where your choices are guided by a clear understanding of your desires and values. Living with intention requires conscious awareness of how you allocate your time and energy. In a world filled with distractions and obligations, it's easy to slip into autopilot, reacting to demands rather than actively choosing how to engage. This is where the practice of self-reflection becomes vital. By regularly assessing your commitments and intentions, you can ensure that your actions align with your long-term goals. Nostalgia can play a powerful role in this journey. Think back to moments in your life when you felt deeply connected to your purpose. Were there pursuits that lit you up or relationships that nourished your soul? Reconnecting with these memories can help you clarify what living intentionally means for you. What experiences do you want to cultivate more of in your life? To embrace intentional living, Consider setting clear goals that resonate with your values. Whether they relate to your career, relationships, or personal growth, articulating your aspirations provides a roadmap for your journey. Break these goals into actionable steps, allowing you to track your progress and celebrate your achievements along the way. As you navigate your commitments, cultivate a mindset of mindfulness. Being present in each moment allows you to make intentional choices rather than react out of habit. When faced with decisions, pause and ask yourself, does this align with my values? Is this commitment serving my greater purpose? 
This practice fosters clarity and empowers you to make choices that enhance your well-being. Living with intention also means embracing the power of gratitude. Acknowledging the abundance in your life fosters a sense of fulfillment, allowing you to approach your commitments with a positive mindset. Celebrate the experiences that enrich your life and express appreciation for the relationships that bring you joy. In conclusion, living with intention is an ongoing journey, a commitment to continuously assess and align your actions with your core values. As you navigate the complexities of life, remember that you have the power to shape your experiences. By embracing intentionality, you create a life that resonates with purpose, fulfillment and authenticity. In closing, navigating the complexities of overcommitment is no small feat, but the journey towards intentional living is incredibly rewarding. If you're ready to embrace a life where your time and energy are aligned with your true values, drop a comment below. Just type 100 to show that you're part of the rare 0.01% who completes what they start. Your commitment to change is the first step toward a more focused and fulfilling life. Remember, the power to shape your reality lies within your hands. If you're serious about transforming your life and cultivating the wisdom of Stoic philosophy, make sure to join our community by subscribing to our channel. Together, we can support each other on this path to clarity, purpose and true fulfillment.